Welcome up to another W2O4 video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to remove, replace and reinstall the air vent for your W2O4. The part we are going to be fixing is the air vent tab. We are going to remove it, replace it. I'm also going to show you guys how you disassemble it in case you need to replace anything else like the louvers or maybe even a clip or a tab or maybe even just the faceplate. Basically, I'm going to disassemble it and show you guys how it works and how it's put together. Coming up. The first thing we need to do before removing this is to remove this. This is the driver's side. The passenger side is going to be easier to remove because you wouldn't have the cluster in the way. But in order to remove the vent, we need to remove this first. And to get this off, you can just get a pry tool, put it inside, pull it down, and this just clips in. So you just pull it down and pull towards you, follow it around, and it will unclip, and it will just come right out, like so. Once you have the surround of your cluster removed, it's pretty easy to remove the air vent pull from the side here and also this side and pull it up you also want to pry it out as well because if you just pull it you could break the clips and once you have it a little bit past you can pull it all the way out and comes out like so it simply just clips in with these clips here there's four of them two on the bottom and two on the top there's also a plug at the bottom here to unplug that just pull it out that's how you remove the air vent now we're going to disassemble this and I'm going to show you guys how you can replace the air vent tab and how everything comes apart. So here I've just taken off the bottom one just to show you guys how this works. You see this metal bar in here, okay, there's one here with an empty hole, okay, you see right there. I'll pull on it and you'll see what happens to the flaps. You notice how they go up and down? Because that's what all these louvers clip into. It basically allows you to control it via the tab for the air vent. Then there's another one inside here for the vertical louvers. That's it there. You see there? Here. They control the vertical louvers so that they can all move left to right at the same time. And now I'm going to take out each louver one by one and show you how it all goes together. Take it all out. Now, once you release a couple of these, it will all fall out because this bracket will just fall out. It's just a very simple bracket and all of these tabs sit in these holes like so. And that allows it to all align together and push and pull the air vent louvers. And that's basically how it sits on like that. But, you know, you also have to take note of where they sit because they only go on a certain way and you'll be able to tell anyway when you look at it. This tab here points up, this will be on the bottom. And then there's another one on the top here, okay, and it points down, curves down ways. So that would go on top. So this is the orientation of it. It will sit like that, and then this would sit there, and then this would be the middle one. Three of the louvers clip in one way, and then the other two clip in the other way. That makes sure that the bracket here will stay straight. And when you install it, you need to make sure that this little tab here sits on the inside like that. So here's your air vent and this is your bracket. Your bracket would sit in like that. If you had to remove the rear louvers, how you do it is basically the same. You see these circular tabs up here? One, two, three. There's also another two under there. There's one there and there's another one just there. One, two, five. And at the bottom, there's also another five. You can see, one, two, three, four, five. You just have to unclip them the same way you unclip these. All you do is you pry it apart. So for instance, here, I'm just going to pry this one up like so, and it loosens it. If you do that for all of them, the louvers will just simply slide out. Okay, just to give you a demonstration, I'm gonna take one out. Okay, here we go. That's one. You notice how that's sitting on an angle now? That's because I've just knocked it out of its socket. And now I'm gonna go in from the bottom here and, un and pry off the bottom one. Okay, watch. There you go. Now as you can see, that louver is now completely loose. Repeat the same thing. Take them out of its slot and they will all come out. 
Now, like I said, there is that bracket there that it has to sit in right here. Make sure that when you reinstall it, you line up the louvers with that bracket and then you push it into the appropriate holes. Now I'm going to put it back in. So all I'm doing is following the hole and make sure that it's, it is seated back into that hole right there. And then the top one as well. We do the same thing and it will clip back into place. There we go. Now it's back in, top one's in. All right, and now we'll just work on getting this bottom one back in. There we go. So that's what you want guys, that's what you need to do. You need to make sure that the louvers sit back in the bracket, that way it moves as one. Now for the important part of replacing this clip. Now you can see why it is really hard for you to just simply take this off from inside the vent. What you need to do here is pry open this. There's four clip tabs here. There's one, two, three, four, and then it also clips in on the sides here. What you need to do is pry it apart and that's why I use pick tools guys because pick tools are amazing. They really do get you out of a lot of situations. Okay, that's one side out. And then we just get our little flathead on this side and we pry it out. We're just going to pry it apart here. There we go. And that's out now. And that's how you take apart the tab. If you had to replace this, that's what you would have to do in order to take this apart and replace it. It took a little bit in order to pry this apart. So to try and do that from outside of the air vent is pretty hard. That's why I really wanted to show you guys that you really do kind of need to remove the air vent and remove the louver so that you can replace that piece. Now, of course, there are aftermarket pieces that allow you to clip this directly straight on, but the ones that are designed exactly like this, you're not going to be able to do that. To reinstall this, there is a slot where this tab sits in. You need to push that in first and then you replace it. Now, it's very important that you do not lose this clip here because if you lose this it will not operate the same way that it did before where it kind of stops in the middle and then springs and then you can then you move it left to right if you remove this clip or lose it it's just going to slide back and forth real lightly kind of like this right now see how that's really floppy right now that's what's going to happen if you do not have this piece from here it's really simple if you want to replace that piece you just have to get a pick tool or a flathead screwdriver get it in here and pull this entire piece off okay so we just take this off like that and this one too and that's how you remove it off this pry it open and this will come off now to replace it you would grab your new one you would slide on this first and then all you really have to do now is in reinstall your tab that clips into the center here Okay, it's very important that this always slides in here so that it can grip onto the vertical louvers and then move it left to right. All we do now is push it straight on. It's really important that you get this in place first. And once you do that, you simply push this back on. And you have to ensure that the tabs line up. You notice here how I'm lining up the tabs there? That's because it only goes on one way. If this tab here doesn't line up, then it's not going to sit on. You just push it straight on and it clips back on, like so. Look at that, perfect. So now let's reassemble this. This is probably the easiest way to do it. It is a little bit tedious, but it's probably the best way to do it as well. Start off with the top and the bottom. So we just put these back in. Okay, there's the top one back in. Put it in the same way it came out. You have the bottom piece that curves up and the top piece that curves down. You put it in the, the holes there for it. It has a slot for each louver. Put it in there and then you push it in on the other side as well. Bottom one with the bottom one and that's in. As you can see, now that's good. From this point here, put on this bracket now. But you want the point to face inside like so. And you want it towards the bottom rather than the top so this is how you want it and then you want to put it in like that you don't want to put it in like this that's not how it goes in lean this over to the side we'll put on one side first and then we'll put on the other side here they will go in the bottom holes okay and that's how it works you see so now what we need to do is pull it towards the front because it has a the slots on the bottom and the top are bigger because it needs to be able to allow the louvers to flap 
all the way up and all the way down and that allows it to move in and out as well now we simply grab one of these and we install it this is to help hold it in place the bottom and the top one clip in from the left and these ones clip in from the right so if i put this in as well it's going to hold my bracket in place get it in the hole for the bracket and then just get it in on this side like so it's kind of holding the bracket in place now see that's 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 really going to help in uh, when it comes to installing the tab it's very important that you get this slot here into the middle vertical louver it has a spot for it right there you put it in there so that it can turn the vertical lever left and right like that in order to fit this back on we need to make sure that fork clips into it like so perfectly in the center help that bracket over the clip we need to help it out by pushing it in and lifting it up at the same time we're going to push down and then lift up the bracket and help it sit over it and make sure that it fits into the bracket and we pull it down and there we go so the hard part about this was that when you go to put this in the bottom one also slips out but that's not a problem because that's really easy to fix now we just lift it up at the bottom and then you put our bracket back on and now look at that it's all back in now perfect and that's exactly how you want it it's really easy to fit the last one because all you have to do is put it straight in make sure it all lines up yes and uh, we'll just expand it a bit here and push it right in and look at that our air vent completely put back together once again check to make sure everything works and that is how you replace your air vent tab so really it's not as simple as doing it from outside here because it is pretty hard to get to it from here originally you're going to have this in the way that's why i decided to take it apart instead because really it wasn't that hard and also you really can see what's going on let's just put everything back together now there we go push that on clips on make sure the bottom clips on as well put everything back together again let's just put it back in the car and I'll show you guys how easy it is to reconnect and push back in. Now to reinstall, all you do is you plug it back in first, line it up, follow these two tabs with the two grooves at the bottom here, push it in. It does take a sweet spot, a certain angle to get it in, but you will get it. There we go. And that's it. Check, make sure everything works. And then simply replace your cover. And that's how you remove, repair, and reinstall your air vent. For the passenger side air vent, you don't have anything blocking it on this side like you did on the driver side one where the instrument cluster surround was covering it. So in order to take this off, you would just have to pry it out and pull it out the same way and it will come straight out. The center one is still also very easy, but it just is removed a little bit different. So if you've ever removed your stereo before, you would know this. The way to remove the center one is by taking off these two rubber points here. Okay, you take off these rubber covers, take that off. Okay, so in order to remove the middle ones, as you saw just then, we took off these two rubber covers. Okay, one, two and then now all you have to do is get kind of like a hook tool like this and then you simply put it inside here so you want to grip towards the outside like this pull straight towards you and you will pull out the air vent do the same to the other side and pull straight and the air vent will pop right out and that's how you remove the center air vent to do the exact same thing that we just did the only difference also is that you also have a couple of other plugs so before you decide to rip it out make sure you turn it around and unplug the plugs first that's how you remove the air vent of your w204 and that's it i hope you found this video helpful guys and if you did like share comment subscribe ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads until next time this is mike with mikey's vlogs Signing off. I'll see you in the next one.